So we're here with the Quantum Solutions. Hello. Hi. Hi, so who are you? Uh, my name is Abdullah. I'm from Quantum Solutions. We are a startup company based in Saudi Arabia. And we are recently incorporated last year. So we are a company that manufactures and develops materials called Quantum DOS, uh, Profsky Quantum DOS. So you make these? Yes, we are actually making these Profsky Quantum DOS into different colors, ranging from blue, or, or, uh, green, orange, or red. And, but our main focus right now is LCD application, and we're focusing on green. So the green is basically we have is high efficiency and higher st more stability for LCD application. So we're trying to replace the current LCD uh, uh, technology by replacing the white uh, colors in the LCD and replacing them with quantum dots uh, with this kind of films. As you can see here, we have our quantum dots into this polymer film, and by replacing this in the LCDs, we can ensure that we have a wider color gamut. Yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, what are you showing here? So right here we are showing here the difference between a normal quantum dust with now, without encapsulation and how they degrade at higher temperatures compared to what we have recently achieved. By encapsulating and covering this quantum dust, we can actually retrieve higher photoluminescence em uh, emission even at high temperatures. So uh, what's special about your quantum dot compared to the rest of the market? So the current market, their efficiency is high, but their emission width is really broad. What we have is our emission is much uh, narrower. So it goes down to 15 nanometers in emission uh, width. Compared to what we have right now in the market, it's like up down to 30 nanometers to 40 nanometers. In, 15 uh, nanometers? Yes. You're the, the smallest? This is the smallest we have achieved. And this is in the world? Yes, actually, this is like, like we're not the only one that achieved it. There are other research labs that have done that, but we are actually the one that commercialized it and also ensure that it's stable as a product. Why is it important to have this 15 nanometers? Because if you want to make a wider color gamut, you need to ensure that you have exactly a pure color of green. By ensuring that you have a green colors, when you mix it with other colors, the RGB colors, you can ensure that you have exactly what you want. Like if you want to mix green and red, to achieve, for example, orange, you, you need exactly, or yellow, you get exactly, exactly yellow. So, so where, where did these materials come from? Is it like from a mine somewhere? So or? these materials, we don't, uh, we buy them like from a company that also, they actually come from mines. So this is the natural materials. So they, they're not organic? synthetic. Yeah, some of them are organic, some of them inorganic, but they're based in, uh, they come from nature. They actually are not synthetic. So then we don't make them like from scratch. So they actually like, they mine it. Yes. So, uh, what, what's your experience right here at the uh, SID Display It's great, week? actually. Uh, it's actually really awesome. I've talked to a lot of people, a lot of interested uh, people from different companies that are interested in our technology. And they have asked for a, a business card to exchange emails for, for collaboration. And they're asking for uh, us to send them some samples for them to test and verify. And hopefully we can work with them and we also hope to sell the materials to them because we are, as a company, we want to supply as many people as we could to make actually enough uh, revenue per year. So it's going to be for quantum.tvs? Yes, quantum.tvs. Or something else? It could be for other things like LEDs and uh, other display and uh, it could be for like imaging, for bio biological application like bioimaging. So there are a lot of applications and as we talk to customers like this here today, we actually discover more applications. Is Quantum Dot as good? Uh, TVs, LCDs are going to be as good as OLEDs? So right now there's a big debate between OLED and uh, Quantum LED, uh, Quantum TVs. But uh, so one of the main advantages of Quantum uh, Quantum TVs compared to OLED is their uh, their color gamut is much wider, and also the processability and how much it costs to manufacturers Quantum Dot is much cheaper. It's just one layer on the LCD you change, That's right? It, basically, which layer? This layer. This polymer that layer, layer yes. The, which is so, the what layer? So this is the polymer layer. So basically, by changing the color, the, the LCD currently, they have another uh, layer they, they call it phosphor. By replacing that and putting this uh, film, you can basically have it done as a quantum TV. So just it's really film. easy. It's a basically it's a film. A film. It's yes. a static film. It doesn't... It doesn't do anything. It doesn't have pixels or something? Nothing, or nothing. It's a film that film. emits everywhere. And then it goes through the pixels, and then the pixels, you can filter the colors into different colors, uh, red and green and blue. So uh, your business would be supplying uh, this, yeah, this material? Yeah, so we are supplying these materials, specifically green, to um, display manufacturers into different forms, like a thin film, a powder, or solution, inorganic or organic solution. So depending on their needs, we can supply them with their requirements.
And uh, over there in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, yes. how many people in your team? So we have actually a small team, called mainly three, t- three people in, uh, in our company. You're a startup, well, right? Yeah, we are a startup. Yeah. Really t- we just What's started next? last year. What could happen next? So what could be next is that we work on a big company that will supply, we will supply them with the materials until we found that if these materials could be applicable in like, a large scale. So either we can continue our collaboration or they could acquire us. Cool. Which is going to be great. <laughs>